How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here. Today I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little video here. We're going to go through the Android TV, Google Android TV developer kit and start it up, turn it on, see what's on this device. I'm kind of curious myself, so let's go do it. Right here, this is my uh, Android TV box. You can see it's got a little fun light on the bottom, kind of changing colors down there. LED is kind of cool. It's my other system stuff. Here's my Fire TV right there. So let's check out the startup on this thing. As soon as you plug it in, it powers up. It's actually got the welcome screen there right behind us. But you have to hit this circle button on the remote, and then eventually it will communicate, and you'll see a little LED like that. So that's what you're going to be looking for. That means your controller is working correctly. So let's go ahead and start this up. All right, here we go. Welcome screen. Yep, it seems to be working. Push uh, A, I think. Hopefully select. First things first, I want you to hook up to your Wi-Fi. So let me do that really fast. All right, I am connecting to my Wi-Fi. Now this does have um, Ethernet port on the back. So if you have a direct connection, you can do that too. Uh, I just don't have one over here where I'm at. So interesting uh, right off the beginning we have an Android TV system update that is downloading so downloading the latest update for Android TV developer preview it will be applied automatically when the download is complete looks like it's downloading pretty fast so we're gonna let this download installing in three oh sorry six five four three two one reboot Shutting down. <laughs> Sound effects are awesome, I know. Standard Android. That's their standard Android boot animation. That's like AOSP, you could say boot animation. Here is stock Android recovery or system update. Very cool. Fun to see that on the TV for sure. As soon as this wraps up, guys, we'll actually go through the install and setup once the update is installed. I'm actually pretty pumped to see this. I really am not sure what to expect. I watched very, very little of uh, Google I.O., at least on the Android TV side of it. I saw some pictures, basically, is it. So I'm kind of pumped to see what this actually feels like, how this controller interfaces with it, um, just get a real feel for how Android TV is going to look. Shabam! It's done. Let's uh, see what we get. Da -da -da -da. Android. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Small Android. This is not impressive. Ooh. Pulsing, flashing Android. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can make that out in the video. It's pretty dim. Hard to tell. So there's your boot animation. Official. Dun dun dun. I hear noises. Shabam. What are we gonna get? Circles. Uh-huh. Okay. So, first things first, looks like I have to do sign into your Google account. I gotta turn my remote on again here because it disconnected, it was uh, updating for so long. Let's try signing in. Okay, enter your emails. Let me sign in really quick here. Okay. We are signing in successful. Oh yeah. Uh, location services. It's interesting. I didn't think this would have that. Man, eh, why not? I really don't care. Oh, network connected. It skipped that one. Network connected. Connected to don't change. So you could change your network connection if you wanted to. It skipped right over that uh, location services, which I think was kind of interesting. Yeah, first time booting up here. It's taking some time. Let's uh. See what we get here, guys. Uh, the setup is finished. Shoo bam. Hmm. Preparing recommendations. Okay. Interesting. Click to search. Okay, Google. Let's see if it does voice commands. I don't know if it does or not. It looks like it does. Did not catch that. Okay, Google. Looks like it needs a microphone to use that feature. 
How old is Brad Pitt? Hmm. I'm thinking the other remote that you're going to get will be able to do this kind of a feature, but this is developer preview, so it just is what it is. It's kind of interesting, though. Um, what do we got? So, a bunch of YouTube clips. Some uh, movies. This movie. Oh, my word. Live, die, repeat. Really good. If you like science fiction stuff, I love this movie. I thought it was really cool. Uh, yeah, so pretty cool. It's basically YouTube and uh, Google play video um, shows and movies recommendations. And we have apps, YouTube, again, movie TV, Google Play, Google Play Store, it says preview, which is interesting, Netflix, and games on play. And then we can go settings, notifications, and uh, Wi-Fi. So let me go to the settings. I want to see what's in here. Ethernet, display, live, daydream, calibration. So there's some options there. Um, Google Cast settings, system sound, apps. And this is actually showing you, you know, like everything. Very interesting. Because it's a developer preview, that's why all these just got the Android guys, because this is every single application on your system, which is interesting. Normally you won't be able to see all of these apps when you go into um, apps, but like I said, because it's a preview, you can do that. What's interesting is A is select, B is back, but there's also the back button or the home button on the controller. So here's storage. Let's see what's in there. So it says free space, 13 gigs. So that's pretty good size, actually. That's pretty cool. 13 gigs of free space. I'm digging that. About. Let's go see what we have in here. Model ADT1, version L. So I guess they're saying this is going to be kind of like a lollipop version. There's uh, build number LPW39. Let's see if we can tap on that. I don't know if it's going to let me turn on developer options. Oh, that's just backed out. That's interesting. Let's see what else we have here. System updates, factor reset, um, about. See, normally you come in here and you turn on this right here. But uh, I don't see it doing anything. It's interesting though. Come back in here, storage apps. Kind of curious. Google Cast, share using data, developer support, some other information in there. Let's go down. Date and time, language keyboard, speech. Oh, there's developer options. It's already turned on. So debugging, put that in there. Use bugging on. That's going to be nice. And all the other debugging uh, settings are all right there. Keyboard search. What else we got? Gamepad, remote accessories, add a Bluetooth device so you can add more devices, other information. Very cool. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just go see if we can download a game or not. I don't know if it's going to work. I said developer preview it's kind of interesting so we'll accept the terms and we'll go check out the applications here we go oh nice remote games yeah let's do remote games I want to download a game really quick uh, we could do we could do Riptide it's a cool game oh I don't want to pay for it though Hang on, we'll go do a game that you don't have to pay for, because I'm cheap. We'll do this dragon game. Flying dragon. Install, except. All right, let's let that install. And let's keep looking here. Oh, there's downloaded up. Oh, it's installed already. Very cool, though. Let's back out and see if we can get that game. There it is. Let's go ahead and play flying dragon really quick. It's a pretty, pretty basic game, really. Um, very easy to do, but I'm going to try it with the gamepad. Really, you need like a racing game or something to really try this out. Or a first-person shooter, that'd be pretty wicked cool, too. So there you go. Some information. We'll load it up. Close. Swooping. You guys, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. It's pretty fun. It's kind of like an addicting game, though. Just try to get your little dragon to fly. This is like the tutorial though, so you can see. 
Wee! Oh, I missed that one. Oh, that's bad. Go like this. Wee! Anyway, I think you guys get the picture. It's pretty fun. There you go. Oh, that's interesting. That was the home button. It actually opened uh, the Google search first. Very interesting. Anyway, I'm going to be playing with this, guys. I think it's pretty cool. Definitely, once we get some more games and development for it, um, I think it's going to be wicked awesome. So I'm excited to uh, check out some of these games, especially especially some of these. I, hope, um, I might even buy Riptide just for playing it on here to check it out. But uh, definitely pretty cool. There it is. That's going to be uh, kind of my little review, kind of once over, of the Android TV Developer Preview Kit. Um, hope you guys like this video. Also, um, I'm assuming this is pretty much what the Nexus players are going to look like. It's probably going to be the same interface, same kind of apps, that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully a lot more options and probably a little more finessed out. But uh, very nice. Definitely digging it. I love this controller. I'm glad I have it. I'm going to probably hook it up to my Nexus players when they come, though. So there you go. Hope you guys like it. We'll uh, stay tuned for more videos on a lot of Nexus devices coming uh, your way soon. Uh, I'll be getting pretty much all the new ones, so we'll have video reviews and tutorials on those as well. And we'll catch you guys next time. Whoa. Root Junkie out. Yeah.